to what you see in my life. But only you can just write what you did. You know, I did that, I did that, all that. But this question part, you should connect it to the rest. The whole world is connection. See, we are not isolated individuals, right? There are millions of people who are building people. In some way, each is connected with the other. So your idea or your finding should be connected with others' findings and others' ideas. That, in, the, in our discussion, you should do. The chances of acceptance increases multiple. Yeah. So I have been an editor for most of my life. So, uh, I have edited physics journals, technology journals, chemistry journals, and the general journals, and so on. So I have a book review written on about developments, commentary, all that. Thank you. So uh, I'm not speaking from why, speaking from personal experience of having done something. But I haven't done real good science. Yes, that's a big difference. Malra is a classic example of a combination of real good science and editor. And it is your current science. Okay. And it is extremely good for 20 years. Yes, all his editorials you please read okay. and tell all your colleagues, students especially. I'm so upset today and yesterday, no student ever opened the mouth. Are you all afraid of the teachers or what's the problem? Here yeah, nobody spoke. Here yeah, nobody spoke. So actually I like to ask questions but the uh, previous speaker was there I was speaking oh, yeah. and then I came in a bit late. So it doesn't so. matter what you want to be asked. I'm afraid to ask. I'm not afraid to do anything. I mean, if you feel strong about suppose if you feel 5 and 5 makes 12. The whole world may think it's 10. But I believe it is 12. I should say that. This is what I believe. This is, this is why I say this. See, a lot of us have 12 of three dimensions. I uh, length, width, and height. That's the world we knew. But then people wanted to sort of scale into the multi dimension, n dimensional, and things like that. The whole world is evolving now. Now it's all quantum science, quantum things and so on. So, you should not be afraid of saying what you believe in. You may be wrong. Everybody is wrong, sometimes or the other. What do you believe to be true in your mind? That is the truth as you believe it. If you are true wrong, that's okay. I always ask people to ask questions. They don't answer. They answer. If you know half, I tell them, please take it to the prince. If I don't know, I say, I don't know. Say, what is wrong in them? So, you should be ready to accept if you don't know. The best student in the world is one who says, sir, I don't know. He is the best student. Okay? So, suppose if, if you are in Goa for the first time, you want to go to the public library. As I ask, if you are directing to the real public library, you direct some other direction. You are doing a great disservice to me. I will pay anybody. So if you don't know, you should say you don't know. And that is the first necessity for us. Any student, if he says, he is afraid of saying, I don't know, he is unfit to be a student. Always, you can't know everything. You are not Einstein, you are not Newton. I mean, even Einstein and Newton may not know many things. So one should be ready to accept I don't know. I'm sorry. That courage you should have to say I don't know. In the public, there are hundred people. How can I say I don't know anything? Four of them. What does it matter? Who are they to think four or nine of you? You are what you are. Be courageous. Tell them I don't know. And if you know, insist on what you know. Tell them this is what they stand for. What you say is wrong for this is something. Argue with them, no problem. A good student should come forward. Yesterday I spoke at the NIO. Today I spoke here. Not a single student opened his mouth. I'm very upset. So next time you come, I will reply. I don't know when I am coming next time, but I mean, what are we teaching first? What are we building with huge structures, universities for? So that can children learn. So I think this teachers here are tremendously failed. They are motivated students to ask questions. I think they are very strict, I think. I don't know. Something is wrong with the teaching here.